It's a great pleasure and honor to be with you and with the great leaders as you. Checkpoints, occupation, raids, incursions, blockade, settlement. You may know what these words mean, but do you really? Do you know what these words mean if you have not experienced a reality? Do you know what a checkpoint is and mean if you or unless you have not go through one? Do you know what living under incubation means if you or unless haven't experienced it in reality? Let me inform you what that mean. Last year, I couldn't attend the STEAM conference to take my prize. You know why? Because of visa restrictions. That means that we are, we always, we always have movement restriction. All over Palestine, my country, we have a lot of checkpoints that restrict us to moving freely around. To move, to leave the West Bank or Gaza, you should pass military checkpoints. Without any reason given, you may be denied to entry, kept waiting for long hours, humiliated and questioned. Both the checkpoints and roadblocks may be closed without warning at any time. Therefore, being delayed or not even arrived at your workplace, universities, schools, or health facilities. For example, I live in a village outside the main city. I forced to use detours instead of direct routes to reach my work. It's, it's take from me to reach my work two hours instead of 15 minutes because of movement restrictions. We don't just live under occupation. We also surrounding, we are being surrounded with a wall. This wall referred as illegal war by international law. It's longer higher than historic Berlin Wall. That's kept us as a prisoners in our land. Also, if you lived under the war, you always have lack to access of main infrastructure. We have lack of access to water, food, and electricity. Restriction on the movement is the key cause of high unemployment rate and poverty in Palestine especially among women. 
as the society becomes extra protective due to the occupation. We just have 20% of women in labor market, despite of most of our students and universities and colleagues from women. You know, in just Gaza Strip, we have 60% of computer system engineering from women. I think this is statistic. Even Silicon Valley will be jealous of. During the time of wars, people lived in any stability environment. For example, Gaza Strip is 146 square miles with very high density population. The because of restrictions or movement restrictions. Instability is not the biggest challenge we faced as our startups. So the most recent war was awful for everyone in Palestine in the end, most of our startups only lost time. We see this as a business cost more than a risk. In business perspective, any stability is something we must plan for in this environment. The biggest challenge that faced our startups is the lack of connection to the outside of the world. And this leads us to lack of awareness of potential market. Once Palestinian gets excited to launch their startups, they face challenging understand their markets. When people lived for the first time, our entrepreneurs are surprised with basic facts. You know what is the surprise them? They surprised that there is electricity all the day. Also, the lack of connection to outside work lead to lack of access to market. Because cannot they leave, they have, have difficulty to networking, to making strategic partnerships, and testing their prototypes and selling their products. But we, as a woman, still find opportunities in our society. The, the level of education and the training in Palestine are very high. We have top innovators. There are top innovators, forward thinking, educated women and youth professionals who lack nothing but the opportunity to be connected with business opportunities outside the world or around the world. 
Also, we are technique savvy population, and we have we can use the English language very in, in very well. The high number of underemployed and unemployment of people of skillful people that uh, exist outside the main cities is considered or is offer a good source for workforce. And the cost of internet connection is, is a good relatively with regional, uh, with regional uh, areas. After realizing after realizing our opportunities, we find that the online, the new online era of internet connection is bringing the world to Palestine. It's bringing the world to women and youth in Palestine and in all the world. Women may have a lot of restrictions. We know that. But they can still be in their homes with their children and reach out to the world, to the global mar market. No roadblocks, no checkpoints to go through. No need to get to the work at the night. We believe, or our philosophy said, and we believe that if you have computer and the connection to the internet and the drive to succeed, so you have the fundamental tools that you need to reach out to the global markets. It's a way around the occupation. After realizing our reality, you may wonder what we can do to alter this situation. I believe that each problem has hidden in it an opportunity. And the greatest success stories were created by people who recognized a problem and turned it into an opportunity. That's why I've created my startups in 2013. Our startups was born in desire of desire of bringing the market to talent and find solution for high unemployment rate in Palestine and in all the region. Our startups model is work as a talent broker between skillful freelancers and the businesses around the world and that they need the, they need uh, uh, some services. They can leveraging or delivered leveraging remote services resourcing. We are hybrid between freelancing, outsourcing, and crowdsourcing. By using technology, we try to solve this problem that we faced. We faced the incubation. We faced the restriction of movement. Before, we couldn't do that. Without technology, we couldn't do that. We have worked very hard to prove the challenging business model. And like a dream coming true in January 2013, we have concluded four contra international contracts to the that delivered services to US, Australia, and UK. During the implementation, <laughs> thank you. During the implementation of the project, we trained freelancers online by using Skype. 
We haven't met them before. The employees were from Gaza, from West Bank, and they work remotely with us. We split the project into pieces and delivered for them remotely. Our workers adapt their work hours with bro electricity program. As I told you, they don't have electricity all the time. And we worked all the night to achieve these uh, projects. In June 2014, we got big contract with very big international institution. After, make, after co very, co ha, very tough competitive with regional companies. The condition wa wa was very tough. They want to deliver the projects in very limited time. Despite of all these co hard conditions, we were very excited because that means we will offer a lot of job opportunities for women and youth who needed opportunities. And that will open the market for us, open the, mar the global market for us. Everything is going well. Till 8th of July. 8th of July, the war, or the Gaza war, is launched, was launched. During the war, I still remember a group of freelancers were bombed that were, that were worked with me on the project. You know that they, they called me, they sent email for me and they said, Habir, we are very committed to complete the project with you if we still survive this night. After 52 days of the war, of the war ended. As a result of war, a lot of people become homeless. Attacks on power plant has left people with an average of only five hours of electricity per a day instead of eight hours. Large number of factories, companies, and workshops were destroyed. And a lot, that, which means that a lot of people become without work and unemployed. But, but women are practical, more so men, I believe. They know that they have to feed and educate their children families and find the best solutions and ways no matter what is happening around them women understand that our natural greatest resource is our children so they are always looking for ways to improve <coughs> their conditions <coughs> <coughs> Living in hard environment like ours make us very determined to find solution for our situation because we lived in this situation for 60 years ago but we don't have technology in the past now we have Amani as a, a, translator, a translation freelancer. I was admired by a many work. She, ha, she was uh, take a, a very high load work. I asked her, a many, why, why you, you take a lot of loads? She told me, Abir, uh, I always dream of apartment. And she has uh, two daughters. 
I always dream of apartment to, um, and to have a, a good furniture for me and for my, uh, my daughters. She told me that she worked very hard with her hu husband to buy this apartment. And now she, have, she still needs money to have furniture for uh, uh, her apartment. After the war or during the war, I called Amani to see, uh, to see uh, if she is safe with her family. I discovered that Amani or the apartment of Amani was destroyed. At this time, I felt this, this is unfair. And I start felt depressed. Then she told me, don't worry, Abir. I can still work, and when I build a bar, and I will buy a new apartment. The most important thing for me, that my family is safe now and well. And despite that, she has just five hours of electricity, and despite that, she lose everything. She told me, Abir, if you have a work, please send this, this work for me to work on this during the electricity hours. The teams that, the teams that won in Gaza Startups Weekend, week, two weeks ago, or before the war, waited until the bombs stopped, then showed up the next day and asked, when does the incubation will start? That's what we call startup founder DNA. Now students in Gaza and West Bank learning how to use program and learn programming and learning technology and how it's important technology to, to start their futures, our great futures. During the war, we complete the projects that I told you before. And also this companies, our international company that we worked with, her, with them, they gave us additional three projects after the war. <laughs> there are still challenges in internet speed, reliability of connection, and electricity, but it still is there, it still is there. No one will be able to stop these women now. That they have reached out and seen what, that, what they have the potential to do. Finally, I want to say during my short entrepreneurship journey, I have felt painful, exhausted, and angry. But failure and challenges are the condiment that gives success its flavor. Nothing is more bitter in the world than the feeling of success at achieving some of your goals. All these moments come to my mind when I start preparing my presentation for you. I want to share these stories with you to see what does entrepreneurship mean and the words in the times of war. I believe that the next or the world's next wave of innovation will come from frontier markets like ours. I'm making a difference by networking and bringing each other together. This way I have discovered will continue to involve more and more people outside of Palestine. 
And it's very important for women of the world to network and reach out to each other, just as, as you and I have done. You empower me and give me the hope of this world. And I think I do the same for you. We need to improve our networking, communication, and we need to help among women. Thank you so much. There's a very similar situation, like you described, like a lot of bombs happen. And as a result of that, people don't uh, invest in companies there because you know like what you said it's very unstable environment so my my question was that if we start if i was just trying to think if we could start something similar in india so what would be some of the examples you said that you you um, train people uh, over the internet you train the freelancers so what are some of the things that you train them in could you elaborate on that yeah Actually, this model, uh, the, our vision for this model mm -hmm. uh, is not just for Palestine. We are thinking in this model as a solution for all the regions or for all the countries that they have the same uh, conditions that we have. And when, okay. we, when we start, I want to say something with you. When we, when, when we start this startups, we, I start from my home for one year. I left my, jobs, my job and I uh, started my work from my room. I just have computer and internet. I don't have a big uh, uh, or a big mo money in, in the banks. And I still, still now, I didn't take any loan from any organization. I just depend on myself. The, um, and I, when I start to bring uh, some customers, I, I start from LinkedIn and social uh, media. So you can start this model, and if you want, I can share that with you. It's, um, it's, uh, it's a pleasure okay. to uh, share this information with you. Thank you. So like, what are some of the jobs as such that I didn't get that? Like you mentioned that they got jobs in other, so like in what areas of? Yeah, we are working on translation, uh, okay, website translation. development, uh, and programming, and online marketing. And uh, also we are working uh, in graphic design, infographics, and uh, data entry. Okay, yeah. great, amazing, thanks, and very inspiring work. Thank you so much. For Thanks so much.